Hello everyone! Today I decided to make a fun video about old wives' tales. Who hasn't heard about this? Especially from older people. On the last ultrasound, baby decided it was too energetic to let us see the sex. It was just bouncing around. I was pretty bummed out because I am very excited to know the gender. So I combined 15 old wife's tales in hope to soften the anxiety by playing around a little bit. We will use my daughter's board to keep record of the scores and use blue for boy and red for girl. Let's do this! The first tale is about which side you sleep. So if you sleep on your left side, it's a boy, if you sleep on your right side, it's a girl. I never pay many attention to this, so I laid in my bed to remember which side I usually sleep. This is very controversial, because sometimes I fell asleep on my left side, but wake up on my right side. But I think I am most on my left side, so one point for boy. Next, it is said that if you have a lot of nausea, it's a girl. Now. I've had all day sickness with my first one, the entire first trimester, and it was a girl. In this pregnancy, the nausea is much worse. I could only eat fruit and it has accompanied me to my second trimester as well, so one point for the girl. Dry or soft hands, oh boy! I always had dried hands, even with my pregnancy with Lara. But since old wives tell you that it is a boy if you have dried hands, we will consider that. So I guess one point for the boy. Craving citrus. Yes, in all my pregnancies I have craved citrus. I always have oranges on hand and even ask my husband to make homemade lemonade. We don't drink processed juices, so the only thing we can have maybe is homemade lemonade and it really hits the spot. In old wives' tales, this means that the girl sums one more point. Mood swings. On my last pregnancy, I have huge mood swings over little things. I was always very sensitive. In this pregnancy, I am all about peace, love and quiet. So, no mood swings. Just a side note, I asked my husband's opinion and he agrees. So, one point for the boy. Chinese Gender Predictor Calendar You have to cross the information of your age and the month the baby was conceived. In my case, it tells me it is a girl. Heartbeat so, if your baby heartbeat is above 150, it's a girl, lower, it's a boy. On my ultrasound, you can see the result is 172 beats per minute. So, one point for the girl. Baby steals your beauty. <laughs> this one is so mean. It is told that girl steals mama's beauty. In this pregnancy, I started to have little pimples and dry and red skin on my cheeks. So, I'm guessing one more point for the girl. Craving sweets or sours. This one is easy. I don't have a huge sweet tooth, but in this pregnancy, chocolates and gummies have been hitting the spot. So, one point for the girl. Ring on a string. I remember my mother doing this just for fun. So, find a string, it doesn't matter the material, attach the string to your wedding ring or any ring of yours, lay down and then it said that circular movements means girl and line movements means boy. I am considering this a line movement, so a boy. Headaches. I normally suffer with migraines, but in Lada's pregnancy I had none. In this pregnancy I had three already, and I'm just getting to my second trimester. 
So headaches means you are having a boy. The Ramsey method. This one is told to have 95% of accuracy. It explains that in the first ultrasound, the position of the baby tells you the gender. In these early times, you do an intravaginal ultrasound. So, if in the picture the baby appears on the left, it means that in your body it's on the right. Babies on the right are guessed to be boys. This one I don't know the name, so I named it Sum of Numbers. You will sum your age, in my case 36, plus 12 months of the year, plus 9 months of pregnancy. If the result is an odd number, it means it's a boy. If it's an even number, it means it's a girl. The baking soda test. This is the strangest one. It tells you to collect your first urine of the day and combine it with two spoons of baking soda. If it causes a reaction, it's a boy. If not, it's a girl. First I did not see anything, but a few seconds later the reaction is very clear. So, one more for the boy. The last one is the pendulum. Some people believe that throughout the energy your body releases, you can find some answers to your questions. So I asked a friend of mine to do this for me. So, line movements, it's a yes. Circular movements, it's a no. She asks if it's a girl. Here is a line movement. And then she stops and asks if it's a boy. So the last point goes to girl. This is the final results. With the 15 tests, we got 8 points on boy and 7 for girl. So, by the old wife's tales, we are having a boy. We are in very high hopes for the next ultrasound, that is just 2 weeks away, to find out the gender. We will do a gender reveal with family and close friends and I will be sharing it with you. So subscribe to know when the time comes. I'll see you in the next one.